we present Paint Pots, a novel process for creating low-cost, highly customizable potentiometers for position sensing in robotic applications. The Paint Pot manufacturing process uses widely accessible materials and requires no special expertise. Resistive tracks can be created by coating plastic surfaces with low-cost, carbon-embedded spray paint. ABS plastic sheet serves as a particularly good track substrate because it can be precisely cut into a variety of shapes and forms a strong chemical bond with the paint. The result is potentiometers that can be tailored to the needs of an application, are very inexpensive to make, and after calibration, offer position sensing performance comparable to non-custom commercial potentiometers. Using this method, we have created dozens of potentiometers for position sensing in the S'mores EP modular robot. The wheel paint pots are circular and offer 360 degrees of position sensing. The tilt paint pots offer 180 degrees of position sensing and are designed to fit into a very tight space inside the module. The track has spherical curvature about its axis of rotation, an unusual geometry not offered by any commercial potentiometers. Our low-cost manufacturing method produces potentiometers that are not necessarily uniform or linear. By using a calibration procedure, we achieve position sensing accuracy of 2%, which is comparable to many commercial potentiometers of similar or greater cost. Our calibration procedure uses April tags to provide a ground truth, making it low-cost and adaptable to new applications. The ability to create resistive surfaces in arbitrary shapes and sizes opens up the possibility to sense position in new ways. A rectangular surface with electrical contacts in the corners can serve as a trackpad that senses the XY position of a stylus. Two different voltage patterns can be applied to the contacts to create voltage gradients in the X or Y direction. By alternating patterns at high frequency, we can determine the coordinates of the stylus by reading its voltage. This concept can be extended to curved surfaces, like the sphere shown here. We create alternating gradients using four contacts on the equator, applying known voltages to one pair of antipodal points and leaving the other pair floating. Each voltage measurement localizes the stylus to a circle on the sphere's surface, allowing the full location to be determined by finding the point of intersection of the two circles in the top hemisphere. If a third pair of contacts were used, sensing could be extended to the bottom half of the sphere as well. This work was funded by the National Science Foundation.